Going topless today? Who do I think I am? Davey Wavy? Hey there. I feel like getting the camera out and just talking to you, you know, because you're a person and I'm a person and we should like converse. It's gonna be pretty one-sided, but it's a good thing you're good at listening. I'm pretty sure everyone goes through periods in their life where they just want to change things about themselves. But yeah, they've gone through a period of stress or I don't know, something's just not gone the way they wanted it to. And they just felt, right, I'm feeling a bit down. I just want to change something or do something so I feel better, a bit different. There can be any justification for why people do these sort of things, but I'm pretty sure everyone does it. So I recently got my hair cut much shorter than what I usually have it. I used to be able to pull it down here, like literally to my eyebrows and some strands would go to my eyes. Now it literally, I don't really want to mess with it. It's still longish. I just felt like this massive change just so I can feel a little bit better about myself. As you can sort of tell straight away, there's a little addition to my chest. <laughs> I got a new tattoo and I literally got it like two hours ago, that's why it looks a bit pink right now. It says, we're all mad here. It's a quote from Alice in Wonderland, which I'm a little bit obsessed with. <laughs> it's just like true in every goddamn situation. Nothing ever seems to be the way you think it should be, or I don't know, it's just true. And I think it rings true to society in general. We're all goddamn mad here, seriously. I was waiting for the pain, I wanted it, but it wasn't there. I think with tattoos, if you've got a tattoo before, because obviously it's my second tattoo, it's not so much pain, it's the uncomfortable sensation from having it, the prolonged exposure to the needle, that, that's all it is. That's the only thing that hurts. It's just an uncomfortable sensation, not, it's not like pain, if that makes sense. But I wanted it, and I feel much better now I've got it, because it's something in addition to myself, it's something I've been wanting to get for a while. Yeah, I feel a bit better now I've done this, and I've done this. I bought some old clothes. Do you just ever get like that, where you just feel like treating yourself? You're like, okay, I'm all for everyone else. I want to be about me for once. Just be selfish. Not to the point of where <laughs> you throw all your friends away just so you can think about yourself. Just treating yourself and making yourself feel a little bit better, because half the time, I know I'm one of those people, I put everyone before me. And it's just nice to give something back to myself. It's a bit weird saying that out loud. Like I said before, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person who does this. It's just when you go through big periods of stress, like I've not had the best past two weeks. Things professionally, personally, just things. I've not had the best two weeks. And I'm pretty sure in the span of things, in the bigger picture, obviously my issues are nowhere near as bad as what some people's are. But when it's your problems, and you want to address them, it's nice to get over them. And that's my, this, this is my way of trying to go over it. Just changing things about myself that I feel will make me a better person, more confident person. I'm just curious though, what sort of things do you guys do when life just doesn't seem to be going in your favor and you just want to do something crazy to feel better? I know some people will go and do something like jump out of a plane or something ridiculous. That's something I should do though. That's an idea, charity. So why don't we all share our experiences down in the comments and let other people know that you're not the only person who goes through this sort of self-deprecation. I'll be back next week, hopefully, with more of my usual content. Whenever I do something different to my sketchy videos, I get comments like, What's happened to John? You're not doing what you usually do. It's nice to change things up a bit. Let's see how this goes down. Till next time, guys. Bye. Jumbled Media. Yeah. This is why I don't do this sort of vlog. I need to script mine.